I'm Sam Brownie. And I'm Noah Olson. And behind us, we've got seven people all claiming to be CrossFitters. Two of them are telling the truth, and the rest of them are lying. And round by round, we have to eliminate the bullshitters from the CrossFitters. By the end, we hope to have found the real ones. But if any of them fool us, they'll walk away with a prize. And I really need you here, because I regret saying that this was going to be easy. This is Real Ones. Let's meet the contestants. What's going on, guys? Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm Haz. I'm Sean. I'm Monica. I'm Ola. I'm George. I'm Jay. And I'm a crossfitter. Somebody's lying to us. Five of them. <laughs> one guy, one gal is my rough guess. My gut is leaning toward Monica being a crossfitter. Monica would definitely be up there. I think Ola is not a crossfitter, but I might be completely wrong. He's literally the most jacked crossfitter I've ever seen. Super jacked dudes you wouldn't traditionally see in a crossfit gym, although they do exist. <clears throat> So we don't have too much to go on, but these two gentlemen, maybe a little bit too jacked to be CrossFitters. A bit too bodybuilding focused, maybe? Yeah, we don't do a whole lot of isolation in the CrossFit gyms. Who are we getting rid of then? George. All right, George, see you, pal. Disappointed, guys. Can we see you handstand walk off the stage? That would uh, maybe no. <laughs> I'm saving it. I, I, feel, I feel pretty good about that choice. Yeah, you're confident. Yeah. But I'm disappointed. I didn't even get a chance to speak and say my part. The headphones and the look clearly didn't go well. No, I'm not a crossfitter. I'm a bodybuilder. Round two, opening questions. We get to learn a little bit more about each contestant by asking them all one question. Let's go. Probably what they do, like favorite exercise. I'm thinking this should narrow it down a good bit. What is your favorite CrossFit benchmark workout called? Um, mine's a grace. 30 reps of clean and jerks, uh, three rounds for time. Okay. I like my pull-ups, so I would probably go for Helen. But the run for me is a lot. By round three, I'm done. <laughs> wow, okay. They, they did their homework. I like that. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to say my time in front of you, um, but mine's also a grace. Nice. Um, I love a heavy barbell and gymnastics, so I love Diane. 21.59, deadlift, handstand push-up. Love that. It's one of my favorites as well. I'm not saying much stuff. Mine is also a Grace. <laughs> okay, you guys all love Grace, huh? Yep. Uh, mine's probably Fran. I mean, I'm not a sub two minute performer. I'm more about a three minute mark, but yeah, probably Fran. Okay, love that. Definitely, immediately, right off the bat, Lucy said she loves Grace, which is definitely a workout. She said 30 clean and jerks for time, which was correct. But then she said three rounds. Grace is only one time through of 30 clean and jerks, so that was Dead giveaway, Lucy, you gotta go, I'm sorry. Oh, right away, isn't it? 100%, zero doubt in my mind. Lucy, sorry, see ya. For me, it was that uh, the, <laughs> she's going. Bye. I'm not a CrossFitter, but I do weight lift at the gym. I didn't think I was gonna go out that round because um, two more people copied me and said Grace as well. Google just failed me, told me Grace was three rounds, so yeah, my fault. <laughs> Round three, we've got a challenge for you guys. I would love to narrow things down further by asking you each to perform at least one burpee. All right, well done, friend. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh, big jump. All right. Okay, cool. Two things that no, that, that were really like, stood out is like she was the only one who went into the high plank. Yep. He didn't clap above his head. He was the yeah. only one who not yeah, clapped yeah. above his head. So That is actually probably uh, a little different, but not as much yeah, so as yeah. that to me, yeah, personally. Yeah. Base our decision just on that alone. Has, I'm sorry, but you gotta go. Thank you. Good Thank try. You. <laughs> I'm not a crossfitter. I am a professional dancer. I'll give it a go at some point. I'm a little bit gutted, but I'm happy that I got to that round because I was really concerned and worried that I wouldn't get Helen right, but I felt like I smashed that bit. Ish. <laughs> we gotta get rid of one more here based on that. I have some thoughts. Yeah. We're already suspicious about Ola because of how jacked he is. CrossFit typically is about being as efficient as possible with your movement. He jumped so high that if you were doing a workout that had 
20, 30 burpees, you're gonna be exhausted by the end of that. If I were to focus on like explosiveness or just focus on just the legs alone and not a like CrossFit exercise, right. that's how you would do it. Correct. Maybe even focus on muscle building, hitting those fibers. That's more bodybuilding focus, I'd say. All right. It's just explosiveness, man. Yeah. I got yeah. Peace out, oh, like, too explosive, too jacked. Too Dude, explosive. Man. You guys are wrong, I'm telling you. Scram. I don't believe it. You're wrong. We'll see, we'll see. Hands up, I'm not a crossfitter. It feels like a lot of pressure, especially when they're talking to each other and then they're trying to make eye contact. There's loads of pressure. Round four, the interrogation <laughs> round. It's our final chance to try to trip up the contestants. This is gonna get really tough because these guys all definitely could be legit crossfitters. Fish. Easily could be for crossfitters, yeah. We got 30 seconds to get to know him a little better. What is an imam? Every minute on the minute. Ooh, nice. How about M rep? As many rounds and reps as possible. How about TTB? Uh, time to beat. Okay. Jay, how long have you been doing CrossFit? Uh, since January. How long does a CrossFit class usually last? Uh, probably about an hour. Okay. Minutes. You said grace was your favorite workout, right? How heavy do you usually do that? Uh, one play on each side, so 135 pounds or nice. like 60-ish kilos. Do you know where the CrossFit Games is currently held? Yes, but it's changing. Okay, that's true. Where is it held? It's normally in Madison. Uh, training partners, class, solo. Training partners. There were some good answers there. I feel, feel good about that. I'm gonna be honest. I think I know exactly who our two CrossFitters are and who is not. They did really well, but there was one dead giveaway for me. I know you don't know what it was yet. No, I, I, I want to hear what you're thinking. I'm, I'm pretty confident as well who the two crosses are, but nothing gave it away to me in this round, like okay. literally nothing. My dead giveaway, Sean, you are an amazing actor. You did really well the whole time, but just right at the end there when I said TTB and you said time to beat, that sounds like it would make sense, but TTB is definitely toe to bar in a CrossFit gym, so. Yo. I'm pretty sure we caught him there, and I think that Monica and Jay are our CrossFitters. I yes. feel very confident yes. about that. I was getting a bit cocky there. Uh, I thought I really had it. TTB, Toaster Bar, really caught me out. Um, just this close, I'm gutted. Let's bring everybody back in and find out who the real ones are. Can the real ones please step forward? <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> Boom. I had a good feeling. Oh, that. shit. Nice. Very, very good acting from everybody else. Jay and Monica, you didn't have to do much acting. You just had to be yourselves, but you guys did great. That was, that was pretty convincing. Yeah, this you is, almost had us. This is completely on me. I definitely did this. Uh, <laughs> I could have, could have done this alone. I think you could have, for sure. Oh, you then, know all about the TTV. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Oh, then no. This uh, we did it. We did. It. We did it. I'm pumped. Nailed it. Thank All you right. guys. So I'm quite a fan of Noah Olson. So <laughs> I just when he walked in the room, I was like, I just need to keep my focus down, and I just need to not engage. Just look down, and it it worked kind of. <laughs> Sean been a liability with the toaster bar. <laughs> Time to beat. And I was like, huh? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> we found the real ones. They almost tricked us, but we caught them. There were a couple little things that stood out. Stay tuned, another episode of Real Ones coming soon. Subscribe, like, see you in the next episode.